The Illinois Holocaust Museum's new Spaggett Family Voices of Genocide e exhibition focuses on survivors and descendants sharing what they and their families witnessed in hopes of making a difference. Now joining us from just outside Chicago is the Holocaust Museum's Senior Vice President of Education and Exhibits, Kelly Zaning, and Museum CEO, Bernard Cherkasov who fled ethnic violence in this native country. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Great to be with you, James. Bernard, tell us why the museum and its work resonates with you. When I was 13 years old, my family and I fled uh, ethnic conflict in our native land, and we had traveled across several countries and thousands of miles before we came to the U.S. as refugees. But our story is larger than that. It's the story of other refugees who have fled before us and passed down notes with tips for their own survival. It's the stories of individuals we encountered along the way who have provided us support and kindness. And that focus on individual stories is what the Holocaust survivors who founded this museum had in mind in building a museum committed to remembering the past and transforming the future. Now, Kelly, tell us about the new exhibition and its purpose. So the Spaggett Family Voices of Genocide exhibition has uh, really been an incredible uh, four years in the making and ultimately is to help us uh, tackle that big question of how and why is it possible uh, for the crime of genocide to take place, uh, but understanding and laying out through uh, the voices of uh, five uh, witnesses uh, to genocide, the common conditions and the early warning signs, and that understanding and knowing those early warning signs can hopefully ultimately lead towards prevention. Now, Bernard, why is it so important to share these stories? It's important to share these stories because sometimes when we think about the Holocaust, or genocides that happened before or since then, you almost think of them as inevitable historical events. But to understand really and learn the lessons from them, we need to focus on individual stories. That's why we focus on the stories of perpetrators, collaborators, bystanders, rescuers, resistors, and victims themselves. That's the way that we can understand this massive history at a human scale and learn the lessons from the past and how we can apply it in our current lives. And speaking of our current lives, Bernard, how can we all help prevent genocide like those in the exhibition from happening again, which seems to be happening again today? Yeah, so, at, you know, since since the Holocaust, you know, never again is, is a big promise and is not yet a reality, but education and raising awareness, again, about those early warning signs and common condition is that first step ultimately towards intervention and uh, prevention. And so visiting uh, the museum, uh, learning more about uh, the genocides uh, featured in this exhibition, those parallels that our survivors uh, have to change, uh, we are ultimately hoping uh, that we can work uh, towards making Never Again a reality for today. So where can people go for more information, Bernard? They can go to ilholocaustmuseum.org to learn more information about this exhibit and to learn how they can visit us in person. We we'll definitely want to do that. Bernard, Kelly, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. Great to be with you. Thank you for having Great us. Thank you.